What's happening? It's your boy Busy, and I'm back with another Jump Force video. And today, my guy, we got a discussion. I'm gonna give y'all my list of the nine DLC characters that I want for season two. This isn't confirmed, so don't get triggered. It's just my opinion. If Spike Chunsoft was like, hey, Busy, make the DLC season two roster, this is who I'm gonna pick. Let's get it. First up is Yuno from Black Clover. This is absolutely a no brainer. Yuno has to be numero uno. He has to be in pack one. He is Asta's rival. And every rival from each series is in the game. So they, they gotta put in. His wind magic makes him a perfect fit for the game. He can have powerful long range attacks and his awakening could be spirit dive. That's a badass transformation. And then his ultimate could be Spirit of Saphir, where he condenses all of his mana into a two-handed sword and slices through his enemy. Next, Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho. Now how this dude was not put in the base roster is mind boggling, especially since he was in the last game, J-Stars. I don't know how he didn't make it in the base roster or even in DLC. The first season of DLC, it makes no sense. But his main abilities would be Dragon of the Darkness Flame and Sword of the Darkness Flame. That would be fire to see animated. Now also, his awakening will be Janganshi. When he, when he turns green, he gets those eyes all over his body. That would be a badass awakening. So him and Yuno are pretty much, they gotta put him in. Next, we have Yami from Black Clover. Yami is Asta's mentor. Majority of the main protagonists, men, protagonist mentors are in the game. So I feel like Yami would be a perfect fit. He would fit right in with all of the top tier swordsmen. His darkness dimension slashes will be amazing to see on Jump Force. And he's just a total badass. Like, you just gotta put him in the game. Now, he is my second favorite Black Clover character. Preferably, I would choose Mario Leona. But hey, it's. They were more likely go with Yami, so I'm gonna pick Yami in this instance. Next, the one, the only, Giorno Giovanna from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He is the fifth season's main protagonist and Dio's son. Giorno is easily the best Joestar of all time. Giorno I would love to see him and Golden Experience and Jump Force. The seven page Muda 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 will be glorious on this game. And his awakening, Golden Experience, Requiem, he will be an absolute boss. I truly feel like he would be overpowered just like his predecessors Dio and Jotaro. Next, Gotenks from Dragon Ball Z. Now this is debatable, you can debate Gotenks versus Gohan, but I would prefer Gotenks just because I believe Gotenks is more badass. Uh, he's more of a troll character, which would fit perfect with Jump Force because there's a lot of trolls on Jump Force. Uh, his moveset, just imagine being able to use Galactic Donut in Jump Force. He also has Tornado Kick, Revenge Cannon, and Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack will be his ultimate. And his Awakening, of course, it will be Super Saiyan 3. Uh, I love Gotenks. Uh, he will be a great addition to the Jump Force roster. Next, Shoto Todoroki from My Hero Academia. Mr. Half Hot, Half Cold. He is easily one of the most popular characters in My Hero Academia. A lot of people will prefer him over Bakugo. 
Now, you can't fight that Bakugo is the main rival. But Todoroki and Jump Force would be sick. The dude has fire and ice abilities. Just imagine awakening with Todoroki. This right here will be his awakening. Him turning half hot and half cold. His movesets could be flash freeze, heat wave, wall of flames, and his ult can be heaven piercing ice wall. The move he used against Deku in the semi-finals. Next, my absolutely favorite pick, Kimpachi Zaraki from Bleach, the captain of the 11th division in the Gote 13. I think his name speaks for itself. Uh, Kampachi is an absolute boss, boss of all bosses, like dog. Having Kampachi and Jump Force would be insane, bro. And it would be his manga Bankai version where he's yielding this big ass meat cleaver. Imagine wrecking kids online <laughs> with Kim Pachi, bro. Like, oh my God. His awakening, he turned into that big ass red demon. And he would just go crazy. And it's crazy because Kim Pachi and Biakia were already like ideas for the game. Like they had uh, data mines information and they had files in the game but they just scrapped it for whatever reason that that's unknown but like put my man in the game Kenpachi boss next we have Charlotte Kata Curry from One Piece basically the main antagonist for the whole cake arc Kata Curry it's debatable between him and Doflamingo. Um, I'm definitely gonna go with Kata Curry though. He's basically Luffy 2.0. Just, he's Luffy, but a hundred times better. Uh, his movesets, it could be some type of observation hockey. Uh, there could be a move with the green, with the jelly beans, him sniping. And then obviously his devil fruit, the Mochi Mochi no Mi will be his main one of his main abilities and then obviously his ult will be his awakening uh when he awakens his devil fruit that will be sick that would be sick Kata Curry is easily a fan favorite and jump force will make so much money so much people will come back to the game just to play with Kata Curry so <laughs> they need to be smart and put my man in the game and last but not least, Shinky from Boruto. This is my Naruto slash Boruto rep. Now this, I, this is gonna be my most controversial pick. I already know, but hear me out. Shinky is an absolute monster. He is easily the strongest next gen character. He is considered the ace of his village and he easily defeated team 5 in combat by himself. And that team had Iwabe and Metal Elite. And team 10 was regarded as having no chance against him. Boruto had to cheat just to beat this dude. Mitsuki lost. Mitsuki had to would have had to resort to Sage Mode just to beat this dude. And then Boruto and Sadara had to work together just to stand a chance against Shinky. Shinky is a total dude, bro. I would be amazing to see him in Jump Force. His iron sand abilities would just look glorious in Jump Force. And he's an absolute boss, so I feel like he deserves that spot. But that's it for me, fan base. Let me know what you think of my list. Let me know who would you swap out, what would you do different, and drop below in the comments. Let me know what your list would be. I would love to hear your opinions on this topic. But that's it for me, fam. I'm busy and I'm mildly.